For twining, you can use wool or cotton or linen, as long as it's strong and smooth. Measure a length, a little more than twice the width of the weaving you'll be making. After you measure your twining thread, place it through the first warp end on the dowel. Then pull up the two ends and make them even, so you'll be working with two threads that are the same length. Take the twining thread that's closest to the edge and place it under the second warp thread. Then take the other twining thread and put it under the third warp thread. That's twining, so just keep this up until you get to the other side. You can just leave the ends hanging, and when your weaving is complete, you can weave the ends of the twining up through the weaving that you've done. If you don't want to weave the twining up into your woven piece when you're finished, another way to do it is to make a, um, another way to do it is to make the twining hanging on each end. First thing you'll do is make a loop, and then you'll twine it just like you did before. When your twining is finished, you can do some adjustments on the spacing of your warp threads. Then you're ready to put it on the loom. If you'd like to learn more about weaving, subscribe to my channel. And be sure to check out my website, The Creativity Patch. There's lots more things to learn there, and I've got some really fun weaving kits. See you there, and happy weaving!